Greetings gamers and welcome to another Laser Corn channel video and welcome to the epic finale of the D&D crossover thing we've been doing on Jovenshire's channel. With us today we have Mari playing Kaizen Voltra. Crossover thing! Oz playing Tiffany, Krulax's cousin. I'll kill ya! <laughs> Blitz playing Honest Adonis, <laughs> the bard. Honest. Yes, that. <laughs> we have so Hickey playing Steve the Goblin. Steve the Goblin, a small package that packs a lot of force and power and violence. He sure does like to talk. And rounding out the players, we have Wes as Sky the Druid Pembroke. Hello. Hello. Might I just say that Hello. your name sounds like that of one that might report the weather. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say it's Sky the Druid Pimp. <laughs> and rounding out our merry band uh, as the DM, we have none other than the Jovenshire. It's DMing time. Yeah. Oh, oh. Big yeah. Bad nice. Daddy yeah. Joven. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot to do the Big Bad Daddy. <laughs> now, if you have not seen the previous episodes, you're gonna want to do that, including the last episode, which took place on the Jovenshire's channel. Um, but if you're all caught up, uh, I will. I'll bring you in here on what's been going on. There will be spoilers if you haven't. I recommend there'll be a card or something. Go watch the other videos. But I don't know if you introduced yourself, Krulax. All right, and I am Krulax. I am the, the dwarf warrior with three axes and an axe bolus. And I'm right now giant and my dick is out. That's uh, my cut. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, yes, and catching Sorry. us up, my group, Krulax and, uh, and Sky and Kaizen and formerly Debra uh, have been questing for the horn, the horn of Calamort, because uh, we have bounties on our heads and we have been offered the chance to pay off these bounties if only we could bring back the horn of Calamort. And we made it all the way to the temple. We got there, we got up to the altar, uh, but we were suddenly confronted by an opposing force, a secondary group uh, consisting of Tiffany, Steve, and Honest Adonis. And that and force, might you say, Dave is Dave is quite... the pigeon. <laughs> yes, and also Dave is the pigeon, and yeah. might I say that our force is quite fantastic. Oh, yeah? Some might call us the Fantastic, fantastic force. force. Oh, they have a cool group name. Guys, we need yes. a cool group, na group name. Uh, like, what's our, what are we called? Krulax and the bees! Krulax and the what? The bees! The bees? <laughs> Not I, the what, bees. what about, like, Gary's Angels? <laughs> Gary's, Gary's Angels! Angels. <laughs> or perhaps there's a weird thing going on with you and your cousins now, your cousin now. Perhaps uh, it could be uh, Dicks Out for Tefane? <laughs> Dicks no. Out. <laughs> We Thanks, I hate angels. it. Anyway, we'll work, on, we'll work on the name. <laughs> we'll work on the name later. Anyway, so we made it there. We've been confronted by this opposing force, but before we could really get into it, uh, the horn was stolen by cultists, who we then had to murder. And we did, and we were uh, helped out with the last cultist, assisted by Gary. But now uh, we are on top of this temple, all except for I believe Steve, who is still down inside the temple. Yes, that is loser. correct. Yes. And, uh, and the horn is on the ground, unclaimed, and here we go, we're gonna see who gets this horn. The other group, I should mention, also questing for this horn uh, to save their homeland. Mm. Uh, Joven. Let's get this horn! Yeah, bring us back into it, Joven. All right, and uh, alas, here we are. One n giant naked dwarf uh, uh, holds some of his friends and new companions, uh, I believe uh, Kaizen. Uh, you were hangling onto uh, Hang testicle. Hangling. Hangling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, we're not well, even no, no, five in the video. She, no, no, she, she, it, that's a common, she is hanging and dangling right now. <laughs> no, don't try to. Oh, it's that's a great. new word. Yeah, why well, am I not allowed to, uh, no, no, good. Uh, Blitz comes up with joking. new slang all the time. I'm bringing no, hip-hop. Hip you're hip-hop, like it's hip-hop. I'm hip-hop, I'm lo-fi legit. Hangling. <laughs> you just said hangling. Hangling, dangling. It's like a, <laughs> hey, so Hinky, it's like a Chris D'Elia Eminem rap. I'm hangling, and I'm hangling, yeah. dangling. I'm hangling, <laughs> I'm hangling, dangling. dangling. While I'm hangling, there's dang ganglers. <laughs> uh, so, Kaizen, you are, you are there, you are, you are hangling, and uh, uh, you guys have just seen the last cultist drop to his knees uh, with an arrow through his head, as, as we've been recapped, and uh, tumbling to the floor, is the Horn of Calamort. I'm actually, I'm gonna cut to Steve first though. Okay. Mm. Steve, 
how, are you starting your ascent up, or are you just bathing in like dead cultists' blood? Uh, well, I I was, I was of course slurping the blood of my enemies as is tradition after after combat. But I yes, I believe I have finished slurping and have now begun ascending the ropes. Okay. Uh, and, uh, uh, Krulax, you are large and in charge okay. and completely nude, but you also have some people on you, so, okay. uh, what, what, uh, what are you guys doing? What's the conversation? I'm going like? to, uh, I'm going to set everyone down gently, uh, and, uh -huh. and be nice. like, well, look, and I, I'd like to, I'd like to start by apologizing. Look, uh, Gary's still alive. I'm sorry of accusing your friend, uh, Steve of murdering him. Uh, he's clearly still alive. I don't know what happened to him. He does cool shit like that all the time. Uh, I don't know if you guys have met him, but uh, he's he's a badass. He didn't even take the horn; he just shot that guy and rode off. Uh, but we uh, we have we do have bounties on our heads, and we are going to need to take this horn. So uh, yeah, uh, I mean, you guys are free to come with us. I mean, we've been we've been working really hard on this horn. I think we I think the Fantastic Force wants the horn. You know, like time 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 time. How much information do you have on the horn? Because we were actually told implicitly not to blow the horn. Yes, we were told the same thing. Yeah, we, we but we weren't told not to sell it. I'm telling you right now. Let me go to the market. I'll put a sign up that says "Very Mysterious Horn That You Shouldn't Blow." It's gonna sell for like millions. And I'll yeah, give you we, guys we like ten percent. Sorry, uh, uh, Steve. You have successfully scurried up the rope. Yes, and, and amidst this conversation, Steve, whose sole interest is in actually blowing this horn, would like to have been sneaking toward its position. Uh, roll a d20 for me. Somebody blew the horn. No, don't oh, blow the horn. Steve has rolled a natural one. <laughs> 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 uh, Joe, can I narrate uh, this one, please? Can uh, I please? Yeah, West, yes, uh, I'll give you some, uh, some DM Thank powers. Thank you. So Steve is uh, attempting to sneak, but while he's sneaking, he's going do 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 do. <laughs> Everyone pauses and just turns and looks at Sneak uh, Steve trying to sneak, but is also making the the uh, sneak music. Do 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 do. <laughs> As he notices, everyone staring at him. <laughs> uh, yeah, sneak so level yes, one. Everyone, everyone has seen you. Uh, would anyone like to call out uh, to uh, Steve? Hey, he's trying to steal the or blow the horn. I, w I would like to I would like to attack him with my giant fist, not full strength, but I just like to kind of pin him in just, place with my fist. Just enough to send a message. Yeah, just I'd like to stop my bit. fist down and try and pin him in place. But yes? Before you attack Steve, uh, I would like to remind you that I'm currently sitting at only four hit points. Um, it would be quite easier for you to accidentally <laughs> murder me. Uh, I Relax need, is going to take I that need, chance. Uh, Kaizen, <laughs> I need you to roll a d20 for me. Kaizen, okay. Yep. Kaizen? Mari? Yeah. It is a seven. It's a what? Seven. Okay. What does that mean? Why am Nothing. I rolling? You, you don't know. Hmm. I'm skeptical. Uh, all right, I'm sorry. What was this What was this so uh, fight with Krulax? Yeah, I'm trying to, to, I'm not going to hit him full force. But I want to pin him to the. I want to use my giant fist to kind of like pin him to the ground. Oh, just like holding. Okay, give me, uh, give me a strength check. Perhaps I could disengage check. from this combat. Uh, not yeah. yet. Let me go ahead and get uh, a strength check with advantage from Krulax. Fifteen. Oh, and it's advantage, so I roll another one. Strength check is D twenty, right? Yeah. Uh, fifteen and a three. Okay, we'll take that 15. Yeah. Um, and now I'm gonna, so because you do have disengage, so Inky, I'm gonna give you um, a dexterity check to get away from this uh, with advantage. Okay. So two d20s would we'll take the highest number. Uh, 14 plus two, so 16. Uh, and, and uh, Krulax, that was a 15 with Fif your strength no, advantage? No, no, no. 15 plus, what is my strength? Plus 3, so 18 total. Okay, strength so uh, roll again, uh, Steve. I'm rolling? Or what? Roll again, because I needed you to roll for uh, with advantage, so that means you roll twice, take the highest number. Oh, I did roll twice, sorry. Oh, okay, so your highest one was... My highest was 16. 14. I, got, I rolled a uh, 9. All right, you have uh, successfully been pinned down by a giant... Um, Dwarf. Ah, get this uh, naked dwarf course. off of me! Uh, now while you're holding him, Lasercorn, I'm gonna have you roll a just a d20. Okay. Just no, no bonuses or anything. Oh shit! Five. 
God. <laughs> uh, you have started to shrink. Oh no! Oh no! So you originally were four times your original size. You are now three times your original size. Oh, this potion's wearing off. Oh, this is about to get real kinky. Oh, man. the ladies of the Milfwood Forest are gonna be so sad. His penis <laughs> is getting smaller. Thank God. <laughs> We gotta go back and find that hermit and get more potion. <laughs> All right. Well, I keep holding him though. I'm only. I'm still three times. You're still holding him. Okay. Uh, 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 Kaizen, roll another d20 for me. It is an eleven. All right. Uh, you noticed. Uh, uh, Sky Pembrook was is was was in your peripheral vision, and now he's not. Hmm. And, um. Uh, everyone. Where's Sky? Uh, uh, and as all as you all look, uh, Sky Penbrook has vine whipped the horn, and uh, the horn is flying towards him. Oh! Oh! What? This is good. This is to our oh, advantage. Good. Yeah. Well done, Sky. All right. I'd like to shoot the horn with magic missiles. What? Uh, <laughs> it ain't your uh, turn. Stand down. your hand out from underneath this dwarven fist. Uh, okay, everyone. This all happens at once. I want to hear from everyone what happens. The, the axe is flying towards, uh, I'm sorry, the horn is flying towards uh, Sky Penberg. I think that we should let him grab the horn and then the Fantastic Force can fight him because there's no way that they can take all of us. I get into a defensive position uh, and, and make sure that the horn gets into Sky Pembroke's hands. Yeah, I would like to grab my clothes and move, uh, move towards Sky as well. You don't need uh, your clothes. I, I want my clothes and my axes and my gear. You're still holding. Um, I, I let him go and I grab okay. my clothes because I'm shrinking. Okay. This, uh, this shrinkage is accelerating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and uh, okay, cool. And, oh, and honest. Uh, I want to cast a sleep AOE. Uh oh. Mm. Okay. And it's AOE. Awesome. Are, are you guys standing near Sky? Well, um, I've detached from a giant ball, and right. I've come as near as sky uh, as I can. It's a not so giant ball anymore. I'd like to remind you. It's still three times. Okay, that's um, <laughs> just. To, I'm not saying that the fight is happening, but it's just so I can see the order of things happening. I need people to start rolling for initiative. initiative. Oh shit! Oh my gosh! I just got a nat twenty. Three plus one for so a four. I got. 13 plus one. I don't want to be honest, but I got a one. <laughs> what the? <laughs> I got an eight. So what's happening is Wes Ugh. has vine whipped the, um, the item, and the item is now fleeing back to him. So this is happening in real time. So Kaizen, you also rolled pretty high. Uh, you are <clears throat> going into a defensive position. And next up is... Wow, yeah, y'all roll poorly. <laughs> uh, now, Steve, you are free. What? What is an action? Yes, yeah, Steve is to... trying to shoot the horn with magic missiles to knock it out of the vine whip. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> do I roll how right. much damage I do to the horn? No, oh, hold on, yeah. Roll three. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of making up some rules here because this is a weird mechanic. So go ahead and roll. You're doing magic missile. You are hitting it. So go ahead and roll your three d4s. Because it is an automatic hit, and that's the only reason why this is going so well. Because if it was any other attack, you'd have to roll pretty precisely to, to nail it. Yes, I've I've rolled five points of damage. Five? Okay. And I'll, I'll yell back, you fool, you'll destroy the horn! And Well, I, that is possible, but I, I would like to blow into the horn, and, and you having the horn makes it so I can't blow into the horn. You had better uh, not fracture. Axure it! Rex, <laughs> don't hurt it! Don't hurt the horn! Uh, okay. It, it um, was. Krulax and We've Tiffany. been doing this for a while. I'm running out of axe. <laughs> uh, uh, Krulax and Tiffany, what are your initiative bonuses? Uh, so I rolled a three. I have a one initiative bonus. I rolled a 13, and I have a one initiative. So four. Gotcha. Uh, I'm sorry. I thought uh, Bose, uh, you should have gone a little bit earlier. I thought it was a three, not a 13. Uh, Tiffany... What is your action that, as the vine is being pulled towards uh, Sky? Hmm. Um, I feel like we're gonna fight, so can I cast my rage? Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'd like to, yes. You are enraged. I 
Now, since a fight, I've been smelling blood, delicious, tasty little morsels. I love it. Uh, also, a little bit of sibling rivalry. I would like to cast rage, and suddenly yeah. I am very, very, very Cousins. angry. Cousin oh, rivalry. No. Cousins or siblings? Cousin lingalo rivalry. Yeah, same thing in War <laughs> Culture. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's all the same. Cuz, sis, bro, auntie, I mean, she's uncle. she's now cool. seen your penis. I think that makes you siblings. <laughs> Uh, Krulax, uh, you had let Steve go, and you are going towards, uh, you are, you were shrinking slowly, so you're now, How, how big uh, am I? Well, you're still at three times, because technically all this is, is still kind of happening around the same time, so you're, the, the descent of size is, a, is upon you. I can't really hit Tiffany, because she's my cousin. I want to punch the bard. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't like what the bard's, I don't trust the bard, I don't like what the bard's doing with that loot. I want to punch the bard while I'm still giant. Uh, Sorry, we need this horn. I want to punch you and knock him out of the fight. I want to punch this bard. You better bard. punch him before he starts to hurt your Look, feelings. Look, Tiffany got enraged. <laughs> I can't fight Tiffany. Huh? I'm pissed. Okay, go ahead and you're going to do an unarmed attack. 17 plus, what, strength bonus? Uh, I'm actually, it'll be plus five. Plus five. So, so 22. All these actions are taking place at the same time, um, and so a uh, honest, a lumbering giant dwarf, still naked, is uh, kind of fleeing his fist towards you. Uh, but you will get a reaction here. Okay. A reaction. A reaction. All right. Well. All right. There's a giant dwarf with balls out lumber lumbering after me. Uh, I'm kind of cornered. Uh, I was just trying to play a tune, calm everybody down, but this asshole want to go extra, extra. Okay, so I got to reach into my pouch, and I got to pull out this little liquid I got. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm going to take a little sip of sip. So, all right, you drink the, the blue potion that you have, and as you drink it clean, uh, you cannot be seen. Uh, so, laser corn, as you... Uh, lean forward to punch him, or uh, lunge forward to punch him, your hand connects to just stone below you. He phased out of existence? Uh, he's, right, he's but invisible. my fist was still moving forward. Okay, all right. Uh, <laughs> hey, where'd that bard go? That's not good. Yeah, um, I can't see the bard. He's never done and, that before. Yeah, I don't know if he happening. plays any music, no, 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 no. He's done that all the time. I've seen it do him, do him, him, seen him do it at like twenty times. Oh wait, yeah, I saw that too. It was crazy. The fantastic force is full of mysterious uh, powers. So now we're gonna go to the top of initiative. Uh, I'm using the word initiative as if this is a fight. Though punches have been thrown, you guys can kind of make what decision you'd like. We're just going in order of actions here. I've got the horn. Everyone, let's go. And all right. I be I begin running down the stairs. So you're running towards the, uh, you start running towards, you know, the front of the, the temple, because you guys are on top of it. Uh, and and I, I would cast front. Leap on myself, and I would uh, use that to jump before they're forward. All right, so you start running. You don't. So you cast a jump. You, uh, you have taken great leaps and bounds forward. Uh, all right, next up is, is Kaizen. You see your friend has started to bound away. What action shall you partake in? Oh, I don't want to... Fight the enraged Tiffany. This is the face I make when I'm angry. Uh, <laughs> um, you know, I, I, oh man. You can then, fall back to then, where Sky is. Yeah, and Flitz has Sue stormed it, so I, I can't go after <laughs> af, after the Bard either. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to run down the stairs um, in in the same direction as Sky Penbrook. Making sure that I'm looking over my shoulder like a like a good samurai would. But you're still keeping an eye behind you to see who's following you. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, like that that run. It's like a Naruto run, but but you're looking behind you. All right, and uh, next up, uh, Tiffany Tafani. Yes. Pissed with a beard, and I just saw my cousin's wiener. I got a lot. Yes. Going on. <laughs> I got a lot to process. A lot of trauma happening right now. So, uh, <laughs> Kaizen has started to run away from you. You. You are still close enough to her if you'd like to make any actions here um, uh, on her specifically. I would actually like to go after Sky. I have a javelin and he's running away with my horn. You do not have a javelin. Why? Because you, you threw, threw it, it and it, uh, and you hit the cultist in the last episode uh, and it was not picked up before you jumped up the... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it has 20 range. Okay, 
Okay. Uh, I, yes. I, I don't really want to kill him. I just need to, I need to knock him out. I'm going to have you roll at disadvantage because of how far he is. Okay. Uh, 20? Yeah, 2d20. Uh, yeah, 2d20. Take, take the, the lower one. 20. Take the lower one. I got, oh, fuck. Oh, wait, 6 and 18. Six, God damn it! <laughs> 6. <laughs> wow! Uh, that well, wait, but do you have any plus to your attack with the throwing axe? I do. Thank you very much, Stiff. Uh, plus five attack, <laughs> and then also with the throwing axe, it says that I roll a one d six plus three. If it hits, uh, so that's uh, eleven total. Uh, Sky, fourteen. That is that is a miss. Next up is is Steve. Hmm. Yes, yeah, Steve <laughs> is uh. You th- can slow people with your cold, I believe. Yes, that was my plan. I would like to slow him down with a ray of frost. Steve does a back handspring with a professional tuck towards... What's his name? Sky Pembroke. Turning and firing a ray of frost at him to slow his progress. Those are some impressive axe robotics. <laughs> uh, go ahead and roll uh, against, uh, against him. I got a 15 plus 5, which is a 20. That hits. Um, how much damage does it do, and what effects do we see? It's a 1d8 plus slow, and it slows his, uh, it says, sorry, one second. Uh, speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of my next turn. So Sky, All right, uh, perfect. It's, it's cool. only done one damage to you, Correct, perfect. but it has slowed you quite a bit. Slow take, down, yeah. you fool. <laughs> we must come uh, to this. I take a bolt and a, a frost on the side and begin moving slower uh, and <laughs> just seen an axe and frost go, or axe fly past me, and then I got hit with a bolt of frost, realizing these guys are yes, very an intentionally grazing blow, mind you. <laughs> uh, next up is cruel axe. So uh, while this is happening, I say, guys, just just one minute, and then I put on my armor. I try to put it on very quickly and acrobatically, like I toss it into the air, okay, yeah, and then uh, I hold my arms out, and I'm like, whoop. <laughs> wait, so does he shrink down to his normal size while he's Oh, wait, yeah, I don't on? have my... Uh, by, by the time his next turn comes up, he will be normal size and, and armored up. Okay, yeah. sweet. And, and uh, geared up. So it's just then, this giant man trying to get into a very small, small armor? As I'm shrinking, yeah. Uh, Batman in a little coat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right, so Flitz, you are invisible. Um, you can kind of see... If you were to gather information on what was happening right now, uh, you could try to persuade people to to uh, stop the fight. You can um, do any abilities. You kind of have, uh, you tell me where you're at. Well, the reason why I was gonna, I was, well, if, if it even landed, I was trying to put everybody to sleep to calm everybody the hell down because everybody was jumping at once. I mean, uh, that action was thwarted uh, and yeah, that you was went with thwarted. the potion instead. I'm trying to. So I could technically still cast that? Yes. So honest, everyone can mm-hmm. hear you currently. So if you'd like to cast sleep, you will roll five d8s. And from there, uh, based on people's hit points, you can then use that number that you rolled to then start to put people to sleep. So would you like to start putting people to sleep? Hey, yeah, yeah, <laughs> I, yeah, I'm gonna stick by my original plan. And start okay, to... all right, so- uh, You wanted to. Uh, so, so honest, Adonis, you are casting sleep. Um, roll five d8s for me. You have 22 points to spend. Uh, Sky Pennebrook is immune to sleep. Woo! All right, but so with what you rolled, that is definitely enough to put Kaizen and Krulax asleep. <laughs> Half naked Krulax is just <laughs> absent out. Yeah, ass up snoring. Man, you, you cast the melatonin on us? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm also casting it on, I was casting it on my, well, no, I'm not, yes, yes, I'm casting the melatonin on you. Wait, I you're casting, casting it on, on your everybody. own team, too? I, yes, everybody oh. needs to calm down. Okay, well, well, okay, hold on. In that case, we're going to back up here a little bit. Yeah, we're going to back up a little bit. Um, all right, so uh, tell us honest, because you have how many points? 22, 22. points to spend. 22. Who would you like to put to sleep first? For, um, Krulax. <laughs> All right, Krulax, how many hit points do you have? I have uh, 10 hit points. All right. Uh, okay. uh, Honest, do you have 12 points to spare? Mari. <laughs> All right, you are down to seven points. 
how many points does Tiny Goblin have? I only have four hit points right now. <laughs> <laughs> sleep crew! Okay, so, I mean, as, as I cast sleep on these three characters, uh, Tiny Goblin, Steve, Krulax, and Ezekiel, the demoness, right? That's your name? No, Kaizen. Kaizen? <laughs> Ezekiel. I, I, al I also, with that cat spell, I, I say, we need to talk. Uh, I'm going to slow you down here a little bit. Uh, first, okay. give me a lullaby. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep, you crazy mofos. We gonna calm down, get the answers, and come to conclusion for show. Uh, and with that, uh, Krulax, <laughs> while getting dressed, uh, falls down, starts to sleep. Kaizen uh, should he falls roll? Down, should he roll a check to see if his dick is still out? Uh, <laughs> dick check. Uh, dick dick check. Give me a dick check. check. <laughs> Give me a dick check. Roll a d20. Nine. Nine. Dick is uh, the top half of your dick is out. So okay. your pants are going up. So you get like the top half, and uh, your Just ass is out. <laughs> we got some shaft. Uh, That's like, you know, when there's a boss and they have a sensitive spot, it's right there. Yeah, and, <laughs> and Steve and Kaizen also are asleep. A free action. Did you want to say something, Flitz, outside of your lullaby? Yes. Uh, uh, and hopefully, Tiffany, crazy ass, hear me too. I say, we need to talk. I can't hear nothing. I've just been screaming and yelling the whole time. <laughs> Yes. Uh, 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 honest, uh, honest, go ahead and roll a d20. I need a persuasion check. Okay, roll a d20. And, uh, uh, Tiffany, get ready. You will be rolling against it. Okay. Uh, I rolled a 14. A 20? Yep. Um, 15 plus okay. one. Uh, you have heard him. You choose to do as you will. Top of initiative, we have Wes. You are moving slower now. So what I'm going to say is uh, you are near the edge of the temple. Okay, uh, I would like to drop the horn behind me, uh, attempting to uh, make it not seen. But everyone who was facing me, I believe, is asleep. So I would like to drop it to the ground and then use Mold Earth to bury it. Uh, all right, roll. Uh, yeah, I need you to roll a sleight of hand. And then, uh... That is a nat 20. Okay, no one saw it. Okay. Did you Don't. actually roll a nat 20? I, 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 could, I could promise you... Here, I'm gonna just pull I'm, my webcam I'm facing for him, you. and I blinked. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but, yeah, I actually rolled a nat 20. Okay, nat oh, that's 20. That's fake. That says 29. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, my, mound, my, dice, my dice starts at 20 and goes up to 30. Uh, a, a mound has, <laughs> has uh, covered it. Um, and now we go to Kaizen. Kaizen, you have... Uh, you can roll to wake up. Roll a d20. Ooh. 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 Wake up, bitch! That's what you shout to yourself. Seven. Seven? You Seven. are still asleep. <laughs> oh. Damn. Uh, yeah. I haven't gotten enough vitamin D, you know. Next, <laughs> next up is Tiffany Tafani. Uh, you have heard your partner. Uh, you, you tell me what you are doing next. Okay, so just to be clear, he's dropped the horn, and it's like I didn't see it at all, but I see him running back towards us. Yes. I'm, I'm gonna, not going to be running, but okay. I will be walking back. Here. All right, so I'm going to assume that he still has the horn and attack him. So. Okay. You, okay. Are you within range? Well, actually, here's exactly what happened. My pigeon <laughs> is on my back. I tap him three times. He spreads his wings, and while I'm enraged, I gain momentum running towards him with my bird using his wings to gain even more speed, and I run straight up to him, and I pull out my axe. Uh, okay, so you do do that. Uh, it does not give you any um, uh, any extra swiftness, though. You think that you're running faster. It's kind of like when Mari anime runs. That. She oh, thinks and, she's and going faster, looks, but she's not. It, it looks pretty sick. The way that the pigeons like clasped on, is, it's like I got wings. And I'm yeah, the, then, the bird feels like it's it's like the baby Yoda of you wait, right now. It's can just kind of on. Can I roll to see if Sky is scared? Because uh, I'm screaming and running at him, and I suddenly have wings. <laughs> I will give you an intimidation check. Tiny okay. Roll a d20. Uh, Wait, how Sky, big is this pigeon? It. Is it normal size? No, what? it's a normal size pigeon. It's it a normal size pigeon. Tiny wings. It's a normal size okay, pigeon. so the yeah. wings are tiny. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I rolled a two. Okay, you rolled a two. Uh, Sky. <laughs> I also rolled a two. <laughs> He's terrified. Uh, all right, you're 
you're weary. You are actually weary I'm, of what's going yeah, I'm, I'm very weary. 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 <laughs> he he weary. doesn't know what's going to happen He's probably next. tired, too, but... Next up after that is we've got a... Uh, Steve, you've been put to sleep. You can roll to wake up. I would like to roll to escape this slumber. Steve has rolled a 16. Uh, you are groggy and waking up. That's your turn. I just go, <laughs> well, but... And then I... <laughs> And then now I'm awake. To Krulax. Uh, yeah, I guess I wake up. I'm over here sawing logs. Or I guess axing logs. Chopping, chopping logs with an axe. <laughs> I have rolled. What is that? Oh, a, a three. <laughs> you are still asleep, sir. Cool. D- and, Dick's still hanging out. <laughs> uh, honest, it is your move. Didn't I collect, I got, so at one point while we were, I got like balls, didn't I? I got like balls or something. I got like a sack. Like was nuts? That? Yeah, because I, I, I lit yeah, you, one Yeah, you on, collected lit, like, yeah, like I, stuff to like, uh. Yeah. yeah, and I also had like a ball. So what I want to do is, I, I literally just, as, 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 as Sky is in ear range, I, I, I have these balls that I, that I bought. Um, and while I'm talking, I'm also throwing the balls to different parts in the proximity, so okay. it keeps attention scattered what, while what, I'm what talking. What do the balls do? I think they're just sound. It's just sound. It's just sound from other locations while I'm having this conversation. Okay. You're just throwing some balls around. Just, just throwing his, just slanging nuts. As your teammates are asleep. I would love to have a conversation because clearly you know something so much more than the rest of us do, and I'd rather not be a pawn in this game. We're playing with lives. That's that's what he said to you. All right, that's your free action. You got yeah, the throwing the stones and saying that's a free action. Um, you do have a Tiffany Tiffany that is running up to him. Uh, do you want to take? Uh... Okay, I mean I, I I do my best. I'm gonna cast dancing lights <laughs> in the shape of a humanoid. In front of Tiffany. Whose Whoa. team are you on, man? Uh, I'm trying to preserve life. Yeah. Two things are going to happen here. Uh, first, because of the invisibility, uh, honest, I need you to roll a d20 for me. Uh, two. You get two? All right. You you notice that you are slowly starting to uh, become visible again. Okay. And the other roll now is for uh, Tiffany. You have a beam of light in front of you as you're charging forward. I need you to roll a d20 for me to see if this distracts you or not. Three. Plus uh, one. Uh, four. All right, so this, you shoulder charge into it, and this kind of stops your momentum. You thought you were going to hit something. Actually, wait, no. No, because she knows her teammate. Uh, mm, you yeah, get advantage on this. So you get a roll again. Ooh, but has she seen advantage. this before? Yeah, she's seen this before. Mm, I've seen, I know what this is. <laughs> 18, so can, baby! 18. Uh, so you push through the, the light, and it has not She's closed. enraged, and she's intelligent. That's good. That's good. Uh, she's like, oh, she's Venus. like, she's like Smart Hulk. She's like the new and small then car- top of initiative, we have Sky. Um, okay, so I still see Tiffany charging yes. at me, correct? Uh, and... Uh, as a druid who knows creatures and stuff, would I know that uh, she's enraged and there's not going to be much talking to her? Uh, to her yes. I also keep in mind I have been screaming this entire time. I just didn't want to yeah. do it on the Discord call. I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, ice knife on Tiffany. Dang. Okay. Woo! Get her! <laughs> Exploder! <laughs> Wait, no, that's my cousin. That is an 18 to hit. Uh, I believe that is uh, that is a hit. Hit oh, her with a reasonable I'm... amount of damage. Okay, I'm charging at you. <laughs> and then I roll one d10 for damage. That is ooh, that is an eleven. Jesus, you got two health left. Uh, Wait, I have, how... but I have AC, right? Uh, yeah, he beat your AC. I have 14. What is this? He rolled an 18. Oh, Jeez. Fuck. Yeah. Uh, so it hits? Yep, yeah, for 11 damage. 11? Oh my uh, god. And I... then I rolled 2d6 for the explosive cold. 5 and 6. Uh, those don't so hit her. What? Uh, because she's charging forward. 
as the explosions kind of just happen behind her as she's charging uh, in front I'm of her. Uh, and now we go to uh, Kaizen. Um, Kaizen, you automatically wake up. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, okay, awesome. Uh, where am I? Who am I near? Uh, you see Steve closest to you. He has not woken up yet. Wait, wait no, 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 I woke up. Wait. Yeah, you did wait. You see Steve. I woke um, up before her. You aren't getting an actual action here, just maybe some free actions, depending. Mm, okay. Well, does that mean I can't... Can wait, I grapple? aren't I the closest to Sky because I, like, bounded toward him? Uh, that is correct. You are. So who am I near? Uh... Uh, Krulax, who's sleeping naked. Well... Uh, yeah. just the, the top of my dick is out. Yeah, uh, technically <laughs> you're near Honest, uh, and, uh... You might be able to see some of them if uh, you if you roll a d20. Mm, okay, well, coming out of my sleep, I would like to do a perception check to see if I can see uh, uh, Honest. Roll a d20. It is indeed a four. Uh, <laughs> no, you, uh, you don't see you don't see him yet. She's still sleepy. Yeah, she's, she's still rubbing the sleep out of her eye. <laughs> you know, uh, real good now dream. we're up to Tiffany Tafani. See, um, okay, can I wait? I don't. I would like to ask. Where's I get closer to him and I don't see the horn. I can see both of his hands. I, like I want to know where the horn is. Ah, uh, you're in a rage. Roll oh, yeah. a d twenty. Okay, I like. Can I say to them like, guys, where's the freaking horn? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. you're enraged. So roll a d20 for me, and let's see how. Fourteen. Uh, Wes, go ahead and roll a d20 for me. Oh, spit. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, that no. Uh, you, uh, Bose, you are you. You do not see it. Okay. However, is you are angry, and you just took eleven points of damage. Okay, but that's not my. Is, is that my full turn, or I can? I <laughs> no, 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 no. You, 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 uh, you have the ability to make it up to him and do an action. Okay. This guy just hit you for a lot of damage. Let me, let me think about it. Okay. All right. How's my persuasion? Uh, uh, yeah. You, I, I, I don't know if that's something that you have the ability to do right now. Okay. Uh, the next I, thing that you do has to be physical. She's like, I can't communicate my feelings because I'm mad. He didn't dodge. I want to, and he only has seven health. I want to use my ice axe. He only has seven health. Don't you? I, 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 I have a max HP of ten. Oh wow! All right. Which is why I was trying to knock her out before she got to me, because I could tell she's enraged, and I know that she'll probably kill me in one hit. So, I'm going off the storyline that I still think you have the horn. Yeah, yeah, we're we're playing to to these characters at the moment. Uh, all right, both roll roll for attack. Uh, uh, I rolled an eleven. Okay, eleven plus what? Plus five. 16, all right. Uh, and, oh, uh, you do extra damage, so not to that thing. Uh, what's your Plus AC? Two. 14. It, that hits, all right, roll four damage, Tiffany. Uh, six. S so you rolled a six? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, you you whack him on the side of his head with your, your great axe and he is knocked unconscious. Ha! <laughs> you knocked me in the side of the head with a great axe? Yeah, you. <laughs> yeah. So I'm dead. Uh, I could. I didn't like slam okay. the axe down. Like, yeah, she hit, she hit you with the flat side. Half. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And okay. and you do notice uh, uh, upon his his body there that he he is not holding the horn. Okay. I all right. I I I, I knock him out. I search his body. I look around and I let you guys know, guys. There's no horn. Where did it go? Uh, Honest and Steve both hear that. You do, fi you do find three health potions on me, just an FYI. <laughs> I don't know uh, what those are. I'm enraged and I'm a dumb dwarf. <laughs> uh, now we go to Steve. Ah, yes, yeah, Steve would like to scurry up to this unconscious individual who stole his shiny horn and uh, search you, his pockets. Uh, you find three potions. I would like to immediately <laughs> drink one potion without questioning anything at all. Pick a yeah, number just... one through three. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it up to a D four. Alright, uh, and Wes kinda have an idea of which one's and which. One and four will just be one, and then two or three. Okay. Uh so potion number one. Three health points. Alright. Glug 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 glug. 
Great. And 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 ah, yes, yeah, Steve feels reinvigorated. And that was your action. And now we go to uh, Lasercorn. You are awake. Yeah, Krulax, you are now awake, and you are putting on your, uh, you continue, you're like, and now you are putting on your armor and picking up your weapon. Okay. Uh, uh, perception check, can I, can I see who's around? Uh, you are not near anyone. Uh, Kaizen, actually, no, roll a d20, uh, you might see. Fifteen. Uh, Fifteen, you see that Honest is starting to become visible again. Ah, the bastard that can't sleep on me. I will hit him with my axe. Uh, you do not get an action this turn. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> but he still yells that he was- <laughs> ah, I plan to hit that man with my axe. The ability to make that decision uh, okay. uh, upon your next turn. Uh, we do come to Honest. I'm going to move closer towards uh, Krulax and, and, and Sky. I mean, uh, closer to Tiffany and Sky. Sorry, they look the same. I'm going to cast Healing Word on Sky. Okay. Thank nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. So, uh, how much does that heal for? Rolling. I rolled a four. All right, you heal him for nine hit points. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sky, you are now up to nine hit points, but still um, on the ground. You are still prone. All right, top of the Jesus initiative. Christ, nothing ever changes. Wes always <laughs> lives. Uh, uh, <laughs> Sky, Pendrick, we are now at you at top of initiative. Uh, okay, so I am prone. Um, I would like to use my movement to st to stand to my feet. Okay. Uh, and then I would like to try and grab Tiffany's great axe and yell, I'm coming up in peace. Calm yourself. Uh, diplomacy <laughs> check, Quest. Um, so that is a 10? Total yeah, 10. 10. All right, uh, and I'm going to do, actually, this is for Tiffany. Uh, give me a strength check, and you do get a bonus because of the enrage. I rolled an 11. Oh, and it's advantage to strength check, so roll another d20. Two. Okay, so you are at 14. You beat what he had, uh, so his he did not have a, a, a full effect on you. Oh my. Do, I, do, I, do I realize that, uh, that, that, that it didn't work? <laughs> yes. Uh, Kaizen, you're up. Uh, and and, 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 and uh, noticing that it's not gonna work, be like, Krulax, help, help me. Yeah, okay, yeah, she she's done this before. Okay, all right, she's in a mood. I'm gonna give a free action there because uh, of the ask for help. Uh, as you're like buckling up your pants, you are starting to uh, neander that way. Okay, I would like to attempt to grapple Tiffany and calm her down. Uh, I will give you, you're going to get a movement action to get halfway there as a, as kind of like a free interrupt action. Uh, if it makes it to your turn, you will be close enough to do uh, whatever you'd like and interact with her. Okay. If it makes it to my turn. Unless I die. Uh, Kaizen, up to you. Am I close enough to punch her in the face? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Super long arms, go. <laughs> You'll, you can start to run. I'm coming out of my sleep. I, I don't know uh, that Honest is trying to stop all of us to be peaceful. I All I know is that he attacked me and put me to sleep. And so I'm, I'm gonna try to punch him. Yeah, punch him. Punch him, guys, okay. and he's a witch. <laughs> witch bard. Uh, and I will <laughs> say, like because I'm doing an unarmed attack, I don't get my bonus attack. If I were to take a sword at him, I would get a bonus attack, but I don't want to kill him. So yeah. I'm, just, I'm just gonna punch him. Yeah, this is more like a precautionary, like, uh, you're punching because you don't really know where everything's at yet. Uh, it's... It's a 15. Uh, 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 Honest, does that beat your AC? Uh, yeah. Roll for damage against Honest. It's a 4 plus 3, so it's a 7 damage. Uh, I stumble! I'm finally out of my sleep, and I, and I, and I bumble towards... Uh, honest, and I don't know what's up. I don't know if he was attacking me to be uh, violent or not, but I punched him in his face and I said, "Baby didn't want to go to sleep yet." And, and as she uh, hit me, I'd be like, I see him "As she hit me, I go to the ground." No, I'm, I'm incapacitated. All right, he's been knocked unconscious by that punch. Wait, way to leave him alive, Kaizen. I want to stomp him some too. Good work. <laughs> That's uh, right. So actually, no. Now it goes to uh, Tiffany Tafani. Mm -hmm. Um. You knocked him down. You saw they didn't have the, the uh, the axe. You know that uh, uh, Kaizen just punched your friend though. As she hit me and I fall to the ground, I go, "Bitch, 
<laughs> Jovin, I don't know if I'm allowed to do this, but I'm playing into it. I've been enraged for four <laughs> rounds now. This is getting insane. I'm pissed. I'm confused. I'm angry. I can't find the thing. And I take a bite out of my pigeon. No! <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to use a I'd like to use a free action to disengage toward her and and grab the pigeon from her head. Wow, real character arc there. Steve finally trying to save the pigeon. No, Steve yeah. just wants to eat the pigeon himself. <laughs> Jesus yes. Christ! All right, uh, strength check against. Uh, just roll a d20. We're gonna see. Does if the this pigeon works. get a roll? <laughs> no. Nope. The pigeon does get a roll actually. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Ten. It really and depends on what here Steve we go. rolls. Here. And pigeon rolls a. Twelve! Oh no! Wait, does Steve, does Steve, Steve get a chance to, to try and grab the pigeon? Uh, um, Steve, uh, actually, yes. So, uh, uh, the pigeon, confused, has hopped down off of your shoulders as you try to do that. Um, <laughs> next up is yep. Steve. Steve would like to scurry toward the pigeon and finally attain him. All right, uh, roll a d20. Fucking damn it! <laughs> <laughs> What'd you roll? Steve rolled. A four. <laughs> and pigeon rolls a four! Reroll! Oh. <laughs> Come on, pigeon. This no! magic. What'd you roll? Steve has rolled a two. <laughs> pigeon has rolled a five! <laughs> I would like to turn to my group. I would like to turn to my group and be like, what what the hell is going on? What? <laughs> Uh, get back here, you foul bird, and get into my stomach! Why are they fighting over a pigeon? We are at Krulax, though. Uh, yeah, I, Sorry. this, okay. So Krulax looks at what's going on. He's already been running towards the, the action already, last turn. And he's like, all right, this bird is clearly important to them. I don't know why, but they're all fighting over, I'm going for the bird. Not, you're over the bird, not <laughs> Tiffany? What? <laughs> If I get control of this bird, I feel like, listen, listen, unconscious friend. I feel like if I get control of this bird, I'm not unconscious. I could get control of the situation. Oh yeah, you've been healed. Roll a d20. 19! Damn it. (laughs) Oh, bird got one! Oh, okay, I got the bird. Oh no. Krulax, finally the bird has been controlled. Uh, So I have the bird, yes? You have the bird. Okay. Oh god. So... so I, I I put a I put a throwing axe to the bird's neck. I'm like no, everyone, no, 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 everyone no, no, stop! No. Everyone stop for the bird gets it. I have, uh, I have a bond with the pit. Krulax, you must listen to me now. If you destroy that bird, that's fine. Just give it to me afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, in that case, uh, I need a uh, uh, laser corn. Roll a d20. Okay. And uh, Tiffany, you're gonna be rolling against it. Nine. 20, baby! Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Uh, no, she's happened? still angry. <laughs> what just happened? Wow. Uh, <laughs> what happens after that? Uh, top of initiative, Skybrook. Yeah, can I use my action to disengage and try and run up the stairs toward um, toward our unconscious friend? Yes. Okay, that's what I do. I disengage, and I'm like, nope, this is too much chaos for me. And I run up the stairs uh, toward... Uh, uh, the bar? Uh, toward honest, honest yeah. uh, to attempt to use one of my health potions okay. to stabilize. You, uh, you get that action. You may use it. Now, let, well, let me ask a question. Does he have to roll to see which one he pulls out of his jacket? Because one of them's empty. <laughs> no, he he knows which one he has. <laughs> I knows which one. Uh, I pull I pull out the seven health potion and uh, and I uh, put it in honest mouth. No, why are I, you healing the bard? I help him sit up and I'm like, are you all right, my friend? Uh, that was a long rest for uh, for uh, for for. Uh, it was a short rest for for. For uh, honest, all right, he's up and awake. Don't help bards. They um, were responsible for the dwarven riots of 470. They wouldn't stop looting. Okay, um, I would like to uh, grapple Steve. Okay, strength checks. Nice. Oh. Okay, so I rolled an 11, and my strength is plus three, so 14. All right, 14. Uh, so Inky, you get, a uh, um, uh, roll against it, you, because if you're disengaged, I'm gonna give you advantage here to beat 14. Okay, is it dexterity? Yes, dexterity. Uh, 13. Uh, all right, you've been grabbed by, um, uh, by Kaiser. Unhand me, you foul bitch! <laughs> I, uh, I get you in a rear naked choke, and I said, don't eat 
pigeons. <laughs> you don't tell me what I can and can't eat. Now, I did never, I never said I was going to eat the pigeon. I simply wanted to make his acquaintance. Now, uh, if you could please hand me the pigeon. Uh, mm-hmm. Tiffany, Tiffany, you're up. Ah! I would like to attack Krulax. Krulax. <laughs> Uh, how would you like to attack him? Um, I would like to. I would like to use. Uh, I, I think I'm kind of far from him, so throwing axe. Jesus. Uh, you're you're actually pretty close. <laughs> I pull out I pull out my ice axe and I prepare to attack Krulax. I hold the pigeon up right, in defense. Uh, <laughs> that's gonna that's gonna come into play. Uh, oh, pigeon man. does go up. Uh, okay, bows. Seeing that the pigeon is up, does that break your stride? I'm gonna let that actually. This this will be a controlling moment for you. Do you continue to swing or do you stop? God damn it. I. Okay, you could roll a d20. Yeah, I wanna roll. I wanna roll for it. Okay, oh god. So this is not attack, this is just a roll to see if it breaks you. Roll a d20. Okay. Three. Okay, uh, yeah, that stopped you. Aha! You do have feelings for this pigeon. I see the pigeon <laughs> and like memories start playing through my head and when I found him and us walking through the cave and us hanging out together and me saving it from Steve and I just stop. I, no, would you say? You would you say you're having an existential crisis? <laughs> an axis, is is that what's going on? Yes, and uh, the pigeon melts my heart, and I am no longer enraged. Woo! Uh, and she was the only person that was really pushing combat forward, so this this fight is done. Uh, but you guys still need to figure out who's getting this horn or how it's gonna go. All right, now uh, listen here. Steve is being held. There's a horn and there's a pigeon. As long as I get one of them. I'll be satisfied. Yeah, this is fine. We're great with trading the pigeon for the horn. You don't sound like you're choking enough. No, I am not, I'm not choking. I actually enjoy this. <laughs> oh, shit. Kaizen, he has an uh, erection. You might want to stop. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, a, I'm fine with this. It's like, yes, you guys can have the pigeon. In fact, I will give it to you, Steve. We just need to take this horn. Uh, we got a guy that's going to pay us for it. Yes, yes. Give, give the pigeon to Steve. Okay, it's hey, a no, deal. No, no. Give, give me the pigeon. You, no, you guys I, can Steve. figure that out amongst yourself. I kind of tossed the bird between the two of them, and I motioned. I motioned to Sky. Let's let's get out of here. Uh, okay, hold on. So Lizgorn has tossed the pigeon between the two of them. They both want it. Uh, so uh, we're gonna do. So okay, Tiffany, roll two d twenties at advantage. Uh, uh, Steve, roll two d twenties at disadvantage. Disadvantage. You are being held. Yeah. You are being held. But you're she said she let me go. I, I let you oh, go with a little push. I rolled two threes. You rolled two threes? Yeah. Steve? I rolled a 12 and a 15. Great. All right. I guess I gave you Steve, a good push. Steve the goblin <laughs> has officially, finally, <laughs> grabbed Davis the pigeon. <laughs> I feel uh, like I'm going to cry. I jump out of Kaizen's arms. I tumble and I grab the pigeon. I look him in the eyes. I see his eyes flitting at me. Oh, no. Oh no! And he goes. Boop, boop, boop. He gives me a little peck on the nose. I lick it, the side of his head, <laughs> tasting the bitter shit that it's probably been in because it's a fucking pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> I turn him sideways one last time. My clawed fingers wrapping around the top of his head, and I just okay. go. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> and then in one fell swoop, I swallow him. Wow. <laughs> oh, what a tasty morsel. <laughs> oh, it was... <laughs> we got oh, we my goodness. For. Oh, the weight. The weight made it better. Is that... What, what is that called? Did you, to, intentionally depriving yourself uh. until you can finally taste what you've been after the whole time. I think it's called edging. <laughs> I do have to say, honest, uh, you were not as, wait, no, uh, yeah, honest, you were not as infatuated with this bird, they were fighting over the bird, right now, Laz- uh, Krulax has made a trade for the pigeon for the horn, and you're about to lose it, how do you feel about all that? Y'all must have lost y'all damn minds, <laughs> nobody here knows what's going on right now. You wanna sell it, we're trying to save the world. What does money matter when the world has ended? Yeah, I don't know what this bard's babbling about, but <laughs> trying to get paid. I, d- I don't mean to interrupt, but I, I think this, this pigeon was, was diseased. My stomach doesn't feel so good. <laughs> uh, roll a constitution check. I told you it was a venomous pigeon. I rolled an eight. Uh, d- uh, take a, a d4 of poison damage. <laughs> I, can't, I would like to vomit it up now. I take three damage. 
And then I go, <laughs> and vomit the pigeon along uh, with the and stomach bile yeah. all over the ground. Can, can I there get a go. free action? Uh, yes. I would like to go to therapy. <laughs> we'll see if it yes. helps. We had a statement from Anna. I, I would, yeah, I would like to, uh, since I am helping Honest up after uh, fe uh, feeding him the health potion, I'd be like, you know, we seem to be the only two sane ones here. We could take the horn and save the world uh, your way, uh, if you would like to tell me it. Uh, everyone else here seems insane. <laughs> yo, why, yo, Sky, why are you whispering in that bard's ear? Let's get the horn and let's go. Where did you put it? I've hidden it until we can uh, solve our disagreements. It's solved. I gave them the bird. They said they would trade the bird for the horn. Let's get out of here. No, the, the, the bird was diseased. You didn't tell me the bird was diseased. <laughs> it was your bird. You should have known that. I didn't know it. I simply looked at it and I said to myself, that looks delicious. And then it was delicious, but then it was poison. Look, do... you brought the bird into the situation. You agreed to the trade. Now, how do I know that you didn't take that bird and while it was in your clutches, poison it yourself? I attempt to attack Steve. <laughs> Roll a d20. <laughs> Tired of your nonsense, goblin. Seven. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh, so that would be, what, plus five? So it's 12? Yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, what's your AC, Steve? My AC is 12. Oh. Uh, that's a hit. Roll for damage. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, damage the goblin. Oh, that's an eight. <laughs> an eight plus what? Plus, uh, plus three slashing, 11. Uh, are you doing your uh, uh, fire damage? Oh, uh, <laughs> no, nah, we'll say I just swing, swung with my regular axe. Okay. Don't want to waste the well, fire I axe. Think, well, you, I think you only have the one. Anyway, yeah. right, whatever, we'll figure that out later. All right, uh, did that, how much was total damage? 11. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I just, I've had enough of it. I just take my axe and I whack it right into his rib cage. <laughs> Steve had four hit points. <laughs> oh, jeez. I don't even know if it matters that he meant to knock me unconscious. That's that's quite a bit over four. How many health potions does this guy <laughs> Technically, my health is currently negative seven. So Steve has been hit unconscious. You are no longer in the conversation. Ah! Can, All right. can, we, can we say we... that he fell in his own vomitus? Yeah. That's what happens. That's what happens if you try and call Baxi's on a deal. Now, Sky, if you would, wouldn't mind retrieving the horn and let's get out of here. Uh, if if one of you would kindly make sure that Steve's head is not face down in the vomit, he would not like to choke on it. All right, so can it's kind of so Sky. So Sky knows where the horn is. Let's throw it over to him. Since since there has been disagreements. Wait, oh yeah, Steve is unconscious. Steve is yeah, unconscious. Yeah, ignore him. In a pool of my own vomit. As he lies next with, to the With dead a dead bird. pigeon that is partially digested with its neck snapped. I'm gonna say, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna look around. It's cause I'm still groggy from being punched in the face, bitch. Um, You're a bitch. <laughs> and I'm gonna look at Sky and I'm gonna say, honesty is the best policy. Okay. Yeah, what does that mean? I don't want, I don't, I don't understand that. That's towards Sky. Y'all don't have to know. I, I use Mold Earth to drop the horn, to pick up the horn and uh, drop it into my hands. And I say, I do have the horn. I would like to uh, hear what you are proposing. So you guys know, the whole reason we were looking for the horn in the first place is okay. because there's gonna oh, be this right, big right. Okay. world you, war you, and that shit just isn't cool. So we heard that if we have the horn, we can stop that and stop lots of innocent people from dying. Swear to God, Scout's Honor. So are you in danger, Tiffany? Is this horde attacking your homeland? Yeah, I heard that they have eight eyes and 19 arms. Where is this horde coming from? Oh, you know what? I'm gonna use a lifeline and like to phone a friend, Corpus Adonis. <laughs> Pick it, go for it. Maybe, maybe Adonis can explain that flit that, uh... <laughs> yes, and Steve would like yeah. to add to this conversation. <laughs> Here's the truth. We were on a ship there was a, a man from a kingdom. His name was Ivris. Apparently there are beings from a place called Corpus Dune. Maybe you've heard of any of this. You're all well-traveled individuals. There's a great horde on the way. We need the horn to protect the land. Yes, your bounties matter. And maybe we can find out a way to pay off those bounties together. I'm sure the horn is not the only way to earn gold. If we maybe assemble, we can back, we can kill off the horde and maybe even get your bounties forgiven like guardians of the area where we exist <clears throat> your 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 words have spoken to me bard uh i would like to join this cause you are right we can pay uh pay off our bounties with gold from another source and if this horn is as powerful as you say 
I would not like it to see it in the hands of the king. Yeah, we don't know that Corian was going to give it to the king, but, I mean, it totally could have happened. Look, if Tiffany's homeland is in danger, then I'm fine with, you know, giving them the horn. And maybe Zen Ra can give us some money for the horn since we, you know, help bring it back and protect them. My thoughts exactly. I think that we should uh, group together and stop this senseless fighting. Ka Kaizen, you, you cool with this? How much money does the, the, the goblin have? I want to look through his pockets to see if he's got any money. You guys have any money? Uh, he has 114 gold. Can huh? you all pay off our debts? Because then I'd be okay with it, but... Yes, I've looted a lot of things. No, uh, uh, Steve, you're unconscious. I know, I'm just <laughs> oh. you above game with this voice that I'm rich as fuck. You know, if we can all, like, come together and do, like, a heist thing and get enough money so for sick. us to pay off our bounties, then I'm okay with, uh... With, with with passing off the horn. Can we do like a cool heist thing? You guys in? Okay, we will help you save your, yeah, this is fine. I'm cool with this. We will help you save your kingdom uh, on the condition that once it is safe, we rob it blind. We rob your treasury, we take all of your gold, and then we will leave. <laughs> Deal? I'd like to add to the conversation. <laughs> he farted in his sleep. <laughs> <laughs> We'll just assume that that's what's going to happen. I wink at Kaizen. I'm like, we'll rob them. We'll rob them no matter what. Oh yeah, we'll rob them. We'll rob them. Wink. Them. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about it. Yes. Uh, you guys have have decided to work together. Um, uh, the, Gary's angels have joined the Fantastic <laughs> Force to travel back to the island of Zen Ra, and once there, just in the nick of time, you are able to give it to Ivris as you guys go up to the top of the castle, looking out to the shores of this island, as you see hundreds and hundreds, maybe thousands, of oncoming ships from the nation of Corpus Dune. Flags waved, evil in their hearts and eyes, uh, and the small army that you have at the shores will not be able to protect this island. And uh, Ivaris, looking at the six of you there, all healthy, um, says, one of you warriors has earned this right. Who shall blow the horn of Calamort? I think I should blow the horn. Steve jumps at the opportunity to blow the horn, which is the thing he wanted most in the world other than Davis the Pigeon. Which he ate. Uh, but you got <laughs> Davis the Pigeon, and you threw him up. Uh, I, Ivaris holding the horn, knowing the time is of the essence, looks down at Steve, does not trust him as far as he can throw him, <laughs> uh, and gives the horn to the bard. I look off into the ocean and I contemplate what this all actually means. I inhale and I wonder what the horn is going to do exactly. <laughs> <laughs> on the horn! That's so good! Do you toot? With my breath, blow the horn. The horn! And after this magical echo just travels uh, across the land, you can see the reverberations of just the sound of, amongst the wind. It was so strong. Uh, and almost out of nowhere, as it doesn't seem like it should have been there, uh, rising from the water becomes this giant monster of the beast larger than any castle you've ever seen, larger than any mountain you've seen. And as it rises from the water, it's almost as if it is uh, forming from nothing, as it's transferring from another plane of existence, rising from the water. And the intent of the horn being blown has shown through the magic, and Calamort now stands a hundred feet tall, a hundred feet wide, <laughs> uh, tentacles all over, but with the ability to see good versus evil based on the blower's intent, he moves forward, causing waves, and the world shakes with each step, as with his tentacles, he just swipes at all of the existing pirate ships from Corpus Dune as they uh, become wrecked and get submerged under waves as you hear cheers coming from the island. And once the last ship is destroyed, he just starts to walk 
and Neander into the ocean, and as he's disappearing underneath the waves, you see his corporal form just start to disappear as it goes back to whence it came. And the horn that you now hold vibrates, starting off slow, then faster and faster, till it starts to crack, and as it breaks apart, starts to dissipate in the same exact way Calamore disappeared into the sunset. Ooh. I told you I should play the horn! And with you completing this task, the queen of Zen Ra, uh, Queen Nicolette, has promised you protection, though they not may not have enough gold that they can just give out to pay off your bounties. They will protect you the best they can, the warriors and heroes that saved their land. As we as the as we see the the, the road taken to the temple of Mancoa, into the temple itself, into a large hole, we see at the ledge of that hole, a small silver hammer <gasps> oh, shit. hit right on top of uh, oh, of the edge as a small stone gnomish hand. Deborah! Deborah Mustard! As we cut the black, and that has been Dungeons and Dragons here on the Joven Shire and Laser Club. Hey. I got so many chills. I thought that you were going back into the temple to show that Davis the bird had come back to life. <laughs> and and in in one one night as Steve goes to sleep and he hangs up his his necklaces, uh, one of them a dear gift from his his friend Reichel J- Javis, as it sits there just hanging as Steve snee- sleeps through the night dreaming of pigeons to eat, it begins to glow. Ooh. And that's hey. it. Hey. hey. Wow. That's cool. So if you guys want to see more Dungeons and Dragons, uh, just let us know. We can always continue this story here. We have these characters that might go on on other journeys. Some of them seem like they might want the gold that is in the treasury that was not given Did to them. Did they steal all my uh, gold? No. Yes. 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 Damn you it. got robbed. Yeah. We robbed you. While well, you were unconscious. They robbed definitely you. got robbed. In fact, I'm adding um, 70 to there you go. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have not seen uh, all the other episodes, th- there's there's a bunch of them on Joven's channel. There's a and and then of course the rest on mine. Uh, go and check all these fine people out on their own channels too. There'll be links in the description. We fine? Huh? Is that we fine? We we fine? Yeah. You oh mean yeah, fine. these fine people. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, <laughs> and yeah, and we there will be more D and D to come in the future, uh, whether it be live or or like this. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching and we'll see you all next time.